What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and welcome to a brand new episode of The Drop. Of course, this is a weekly video series where I let you know the hottest games coming out across the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, the Switch, the PC, whatever they might be coming out on, we will talk about them right here. However, this week is an incredibly light week, only one big game on today's show, but I did want to also mention a game that I discovered via Twitch that I have absolutely fallen in love with and I missed it a couple of weeks back on The Drop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. To kick things off this week, we have our game, uh, Fate to Silence, coming out on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. Fate to Silence is a single-player and co-op survival adventure set in a post-apocalyptic world that is frozen in an eternal winter. Snow and ice have shaped a merciless landscape. Nature is corrupted. Monstrous creatures out of an eldritch horror dream roam the frozen wasteland. As the player, you take the role of Ash, a natural but tormented leader. In that role, you explore a post-apocalyptic frozen wasteland to gather the resources necessary to establish a refuge for survival. With dwindling resources, simple tasks like upgrading equipment and collecting materials quickly require an expedition to scavenge the necessary items. In the search for survival materials, you must navigate a vast territory in which you will encounter eldritch monsters and an even greater foe, the unrelenting winter. While freezing temperatures constantly take their toll on Ash, the deadliest event is that of a blizzard. If caught by surprise, it takes every ounce of skill, determination, and luck to survive. So this game is a blend of a lot of different things. If you are looking at it and seeing it as a game in which you are tasked to survive the winter, that's not exactly what you're getting, but that's part of what you're getting. If you see the gameplay and you're thinking this is about fighting monsters, that's not exactly what you're getting, but it's part of what you're getting. It's a big blend of a lot of different kinds of games, and I think it could come together to be something that is relatively interesting, if anything at all. Now, I will be the first to point out that the mostly negative reviews on Steam because of early access don't necessarily point this game towards having a bright future, but it's an interesting concept because there's a lot of management within this. Pretty much you have to build a town and then you have to manage the people within the town, send them out to scavenge, do stuff like that. So it's a blend of a strategy game mixed with a survival game mixed with fighting monsters. It's a very strange game. And I will say going into this one, I feel like there is a little bit of identity crisis going on here because I don't think the game knows exactly what it wants to be. Uh, but again, very interesting game and one that is without a doubt worth mentioning on today's episode of The Drop. So if you do want to check it out, it's coming out this week on the PS4 and the Xbox One and it's out right now on PC via Steam. And then we have a game called Islanders on PC right now. It came out on April the 4th and I didn't talk about it on The Drop because again, so many games come out, you can't really just sort through everything. But this game is from the guys over at Grizzly Games, famous and notable for Superflight, which is a very minimalistic flight simulator. But this game is absolutely absolutely phenomenal and it's only five bucks. Do you want to build beautiful cities without investing hours on end into stressful resource management? Say no more, Islanders should be right up your alley. Islanders is a minimalist strategy game about building cities on colorful islands. Explore an infinite number of ever-changing new lands, expand your settlements from sprawling villages to vast cities, and enjoy the relaxing atmosphere. If you are thinking about buying Islanders, please keep in mind that we are a very passionate small team of three. This is not a blockbuster experience with hours and hours of content. What we'd like to offer you is a simple game that lets anybody create and explore their own little worlds while providing enough depth for players who want to challenge themselves. And you can get it for the price of a medium-sized pumpkin spice matcha caramel latte. I included that last paragraph so you know what to expect going in. This is a game made by a team of three developers and it is phenomenal if you know what to expect going in. There are are no resources to management. There are no satisfaction levels to manage within the game. It is all based around one specific point system in which if you put, say, a sawmill in the middle of a group of trees, depending on specific factors, you can up that points count. And then as you get more points, you then earn the ability to put down different kinds of buildings, different structures, etc. And so then you build out your city from that specific point of view. It is just simple, phenomenal. The soundtrack is great. The ambient sound is fantastic. It is the most relaxing game I have played in 2019 and it is without a doubt worth five dollars dare I say ten maybe even fifteen but let's not get ahead of ourselves now so if you do want to check Islanders out it's out right now on PC from the guys over there at Grizzly Games who have done a phenomenal job kudos to you but that rounds out this week's very abbreviated episode of the drop of course if you enjoyed this one be sure to subscribe for the regular episodes that tend to be longer and more girthy uh, but there is always content here on the channel for you to check out throughout the week if you did want to check out some of the other stuff that I do pump out. But until next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. I will talk to you soon, and peace.